Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Hezekiah Walker. What's up, my boy? You know, it's amazing how, you know, two men can come here, sit down, be ready to do a great podcast. You know what I'm saying? Be professional. Yep. Be respectful of everybody in the room like we always do. And the lone woman in the room. The lone woman. There's only one woman in the room. Who's a producer? <laughs> She's it's literally her Taylor. job. It's her job to produce the <laughs> literally show. Literally her job to produce. She goes, Ooh, is this what? No, matter of fact, you tell them what they what, what you said, Kayla. I don't <laughs> yeah. even want to repeat it. It was so disrespectful. It was so. Why terrible. was it disrespectful? Tell them what you said. I showed y'all a video of Dick going in pussy, and I thought it was interesting, like on the inside. And what That's did she harassment. say? Wait, how'd they get it on the inside? Exactly. They put a camera on the inside of the pussy. Yeah. Yes. And then, t- and then t- what else did you say? You go. Oh, is this what it looks like? Well, yes. I'd like to know what that looks like. Thank you, Andrew. No, 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 no. She said, no wonder y'all get it. I didn't say I didn't, no, I didn't, I didn't change I didn't, it up. I didn't feed into nothing. I didn't say a word. Because I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? See. Imagine a man doing that. Imagine three women and one man being in the room and doing that to those three women. What the fuck harassment. would happen to that man? That would be yeah. Come on, man. That's harassment. Technically, you guys were harassed. I was in the bathroom, but you guys were absolutely You were harassed. sitting right here. You were. I thought you were ignoring it on purpose. But is it Wait, harassment? It you while sounded... Was here. Yes, I was like, man, Schultz is really practicing good habits because I was doing the same thing. <laughs> I was ignoring it is on it purpose. Is it harassment if you're interested in looking at it too? Oh. Say that again. Mm. It ain't harassment if she likes it. Ooh, that's exactly yeah. what it sounded like. And y'all, uh, women are really to say that I was asking for it by the way I dress, <laughs> by the way I behave. Was I asking for it by walking right by you? This is crazy the way these women act around us. So I'm going to tell you something that nobody wants to say, but it's the truth. Women are the greatest sexual harassers in history. It, that could be true, too. Not only are they the greatest sexual harassers, if you don't give them a dick, they get upset. They do. She kept saying it over and over. Like She wanted us to watch this video. Try to not give a girl some dick. <laughs> Try to not give your wife some dick when she wants it. What do they say? <laughs> they t- say furious. Some, yeah. Throw a fit. Yeah, they say something very, very toxic. Let man. the house get dirty. You know, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm saying? Don't fold the I'm, laundry. I'm, your laundry look wrinkled as hell. Y'all can have as many debates yeah. as y'all want about, you know, uh, you know, men transitioning into women. Mm. One thing's for sure. Women, women transitioning are definitely transitioning into, into men. What? 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 Women what? transition into no. some bitches no. when, women when are we don't give them tra- No, Wait, man. what are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm saying women are transitioning into men. Oh. Everything Taylor did just now was toxic masculinity. 1990s male masculinity. Yeah. Male toxic masculinity on a yes. thousand. Yes, facts. <laughs> this is fucked up. Yo, you are a little bit toxic. She thinks just because she get her toes painted, she can't be a toxic <laughs> ass person. That's right. You toxic, That's right. yo. Don't you worry. are toxic. The mix- I have toxic traits, but I'm yeah, not toxic. Yeah, you do. Just so, showing pussy getting pounded at the That's beginning right. of the podcast. Did it, did it give us it's a little pound, energy pound. to start? Actually, yeah. actually it's more... <laughs> Maybe she's pound, really producing. Maybe. Pound, pound. Yeah. Uh, don't worry. The Men Too movement coming. The Men Too movement is men coming. Men Too yeah. movement. But it, was, it wasn't pussy. Did they it was, show him nothing? Wait, it was, did they show him just... No. Nah. I got to find the video again. But it was, a, it was penis, so I thought I was going to work you guys up. You know, dick talk. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that now. You think penis is our spinach? <laughs> hold on. Penis might be our spinach because honestly, we came up with some Cock-eyed energy. Cock-eyed sailor man. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> God. How was your weekend? <sighs> How was my week? Oh, yeah, it shows. was. You were in fucking no, Long Island, Island, right? Long Island, Long Island was amazing. Then we saw my boy Derek Poston get married, uh, which I was beautiful. I thought Derek was in the fucking, um... <laughs> Go on it. Taylor's? What? what? <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I thought he was in the transgender. Oh, he was into the Daddy Chills? What do they call him? Daddy Chill. What the fuck is that? You haven't seen that. You haven't seen that meme where, got, where the guy goes, "Daddy Chill." No, that's not like a penis shaped ice pop. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, is Daddy, Daddy Chill. Chill. <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck? A penis shaped <laughs> ice pop. <laughs> that that is Daddy like? Chill, bro. That's funny. No, no, he got married to a woman, born woman. Wow. Yeah, natural born woman. Got all the woman parts. Hey. Congratulations to love, Sam, man. Sam, who's amazing, and uh, weddings are the shit. And it was one of those weddings where they just love each other and everybody there was close to them so they got to see this love Dope. manifested in real time and it was uh weddings are the shit weddings Dope. are awesome weddings are very very dope man it is impossible to not cry at a wedding bro I, if I, you got a heart 
And if you care about if them, if you give a fuck, yeah, and man. they're being honest oh. and they're really coming, like, yo, say your vows. That's one thing that I would say for your wedding. Say your vows. Write your own vows. I want to get married again. You should renew your vows. I do. I do. I, I'm, I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about doing it on my same, 10 year anniversary. Same woman or? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. What do you mean? What do you mean you hope nah, so? No, nah, of course. But uh, 10 years, um, yeah, 10 year anniversary, I think I'm going to oh, do it. Where are you going to do it? Oh, out the country. We, Anguilla? We, yeah, life's different now. You know what I mean? We got Because, <laughs> mm. you know, because you, I don't get me wrong, I love doing it. I did it in Charleston, South Carolina, our birthplace, amazing wedding. Awesome. You wedding. was there. But I just want Beautiful wanted, church. Beautiful church. I just want to do it again. Because yeah. that's how much I like weddings. And you got to have the same speeches. You got to have everybody who spoke speak again. Because remember when. A lot of people ain't make it. <laughs> 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 ah, ah. So, remember when your cousin spoke? Oh, that was so stupid. Oh, my God. He cried. And I, didn't, I didn't even know any of that. <laughs> he was like, I was the only person who cared about him. Something like, like that. What the yeah. fuck are you talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the only person who paid him attention when he yeah. was young? Like, yeah. Who knew that? And Charlotte was just there mortified. <laughs> I'm like, just, what the just fuck? Just eating fucking shrimp and grits, <laughs> trying to hold back laughter, and his cousin crying this? about his love and affection the for him. What the fuck is this 90s gay slur talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at my dad like, say something. Yeah. I can't. Oh, now, you're, now you can't change somebody? Now you can't change somebody? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, nah, I love weddings, man. Salute to Derek. Yo, shout out Derek, man. Proud of you, my brother. Shout out Sam. Proud of you guys. Uh, Taylor has a new segment she wants to try. What is it called? It's called All Memes Necessary. I don't know why she just didn't call it by any memes necessary. Explain what this segment is. Right. Yo, I know it's something around that. She, com yeah. she combined <laughs> mad black slogans. All lives matter. Malcolm X is by means necessary. All memes matter. All memes necessary matter. By any memes matter necessary. But, like, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, just her honesty right there. Like, I knew there was something wrong with it. I told her in the car. Though, she told me, I was like, nice, nah, you do by any means necessary. She, well, anyway, uh, what is the segment, Taylor? <laughs> all memes matter? What's the name of it? That's what it was. Like, all memes it was matter. All memes necessary. All memes, all, all memes necessary. She just combined she it. White lives matter. <laughs> or all lives matter with. By any means necessary, that's okay. better. By any uh, means necessary. Um, so basically, it's just a segment. That like first me. one was by Matter X. Um, who was it now? Um, but so basically it's just a segment where it will be memes that don't really have a storyline. So like, for instance, your friend Duval with, um, the that's tweet. That's not a meme though, that's a tweet. I know, well, I guess stuff that makes trending that don't have a storyline. Okay, line. okay. Lil Duval tweet on one bedroom apartments. How can anyone have a peaceful relationship living in a one bedroom apartment? <laughs> I mean, he's bringing up an interesting point. Now listen. <laughs> New Yorkers, <laughs> New Yorkers live in studio apartments with other people. I, yeah. I, I have done that, and that was the that worst. That's because now the bathroom is your privacy. At least with one bedroom, one person can be in the living room, one person can be in the bedroom. You guys could, you know, separate. Yeah. yeah, but it's so small. I mean, how how much different would it be with two bedrooms? I would say that one bedroom apartments caused a lot of relationships to end during COVID. Because a lot of people, especially if you lived in a city, you didn't have no backyard, you didn't have no place to actually escape, to like really get away and get a peace of mind. Yeah. So you had to deal with each other. You was on top of each other. You start realizing you hate the way this person chews. You know what I mean? You hate the way this person uses the bathroom. It could be something like you go use the toilet after them and the toilet seat's too warm because <laughs> of their cheeks. Oh, I love and, a warm toilet Oh seat. my God, and now you pissed the fuck off. Like, Little things like that. Yeah. So I understand what he's saying. You can definitely have a peaceful relationship living in a one-bedroom apartment, but I understand what he's trying to say. You're just yeah. too on top of each other. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I, I hear that. I mean, as a New Yorker, one bedroom is enough. But if you're outside New York, I can see how people are like, there's no way we could do this. I mean, I remember going to like, I think we were we were in like Compton or something like that in LA and I was like driving like I saw it, there were like homes and there was grass and I was like how is this the hood <laughs> like I just oh, couldn't the, the LA will fool I, you I couldn't understand no, like cuz I seen all these you know yeah, yeah, movies yeah. I seen and I heard all these songs and I'm just like there's no way this is the hood because in New York 
you're really living on top and next to each other in a nice building. You know what's so crazy, though? If you go back and you watch all those old movies, Menace to Society, Boys yeah. in the Hood, all the neighborhoods did look nice. They look beautiful. Just like in L.A. now. Yeah. Why are you murdering people? Yeah, yeah. Sit on the grass. The Sound last yourself. scene in Menace to Society with yeah. the drive-by, that's a nice, it, it looks beautiful. like a beautiful neighborhood. The grass is cut. You know How what I mean? How do you do a drive-by when it's 80 degrees? It's hey, ask them brothers in L.A. They'll get down for the crown. Yeah, guys, you really got to, it's almost like a thing like, I think, you know how they say uh, you got to take people out of their environment? Yes. Like they would do it with New Yorkers. Like Eddie Murphy did like the Fresh Air Fund or whatever. Like they take some dude. What was dude, the Fresh Air Fund? Uh, I think it's like you take some dude that lives in like, a, you know, a more struggling situation. Then you throw him out there to like a farm where there's like tons of land and you like wow. whatever. But they would take dudes from the hood and they would bring them to like some beautiful suburban place and like find out what life really could be like. I think Compton might be too beautiful. So I think what we got to do is take them to like a real like fucked up East New York hood and then be like, oh shit, people like have to take a ride on this piss covered fucking elevator every single day to live in a box next to other people. East New York is going up is too. Nice. Mm-hmm. Say again? East New York is going up too though. They're gentrifying. Is that where you live? Mm-hmm. Now, honest you opinion. You live in on- East New York? That's crazy. Like how I, close well, to the I won the, I won the lottery. So I got... That's, one of those like new apartments. That doesn't seem like a, like that, a victory. Yeah, that don't yeah. want to, no, that bro. doesn't seem like a victory. Winning the lottery to live in East How much New you York? pay for your rent? How much you pay for your rent? Why'd you move away from me really quick? Because I don't got time for it. They are, <laughs> are going to gentrify they are, East New though. York at and some And you're going to be grateful. They're gentrifying it, it now. But That's you're going to be saying. grateful in the beginning. Yes. You're going to be grateful until you get moved out. Until you get moved out, you're going to be like, these white people really know how to spruce shit up around here. Is there a Starbucks over there? Yeah. A Whole Foods? Mm-hmm. There white, ain't no white women. There's a Whole Foods in there's East a, New York. There's about they're about to build one. It's a, it's oh yeah, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. Y'all gonna love it. It's over. Y'all gonna it's love it's it over. until it's over. you it's get over. moved out. It's over. Y'all when, gonna it's love over. It. when you see the Starbucks and the Whole Foods pop oh, up and God. white women, this is very important. It's Chipotle now. That's, let's nah. go. Very important. <laughs> white people women, our Mexican food, walking their dogs early in the morning and in the evening. Yeah. That's when you know a neighborhood is gentrified. When white women feel Starbucks, comfortable to walk their dogs. Whole Foods and white women walking their dogs early in the morning <laughs> or in the evening. That's when you know a city is a, a town. But is aren't about isn't to be there a little part of you that's excited? And think about all the landowners in East New York. Think about all the black families that have been owning land for a while. Now they're going to make millions of dollars on that investment they made. That's beautiful too. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. No? Yeah, but it's, if they own it, it is a problem though. If they you, own it, let's hope they do. If they own it, but it's a problem when they're raising the prices though. Like people can't afford it. Why do you care? You won the lottery. Why can't you let them? I don't care about the community. Let the black people make money. Stop worrying about people let the once black you've people made it. Make money. <laughs> this thing is crazy. Stop what, what, what? worrying about people once you've made it, Taylor. Yo, <laughs> no, that's fire. That's fire. Spoken like a real G right there. That's fire. I like that one. I'm playing, guys. Nah, but nah, but nah. Come on, you land owner now, bro. <laughs> you land owner now, bro. You land owner now, bro. <laughs> no, t- t- you're actually supposed to care about people more. Once you make it. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you should. You know you what I mean? You should. That's, e- that's the easy. But when you own property, you care about them from a distance. No, 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 no. I still care. I care about people. What if like a large gang moved into your neighborhood? It would never happen. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> we are the gang. It's called the Homeowners Association. <laughs> and we would all. We're doing background we checks. We would all veto that. <laughs> We Yo, would shout all, out to background we, checks. We would all shout out to H-O-A. vote against that. Come on, man. You know, shout Come out to the gated community. Come on, Keep man. You ruffians it, would be a, it would be a phone call. That's what I love about the neighborhood Ooh, I live in. It's great, isn't it? Let me it? tell you something. The neighborhood I live in, if the neighbors come over twice looking for you, Something's wrong. What you mean, looking for you? Like, like, like yo, I need to talk to you. I need oh, to talk to yeah. you. You we know got something in the neighborhood. Something's gone I love down it. in the neighborhood. I, love it. I baby. got one in my building. I got a woman. I don't even want to say her real name. I might have already said it on a podcast, but this girl is so on it, bro. She on it. She's so on top. <laughs> She's of a it. Karen. Oh, but to the best. Yeah. If I get you don't got saying. a Karen, you really not living in the right building. <laughs> you need every building need a Karen. You, say what? It's not a Karen, and more so like someone who cares. Neighborhood watch. You know what? She's Karen. Yeah. She's Karen. That's why they it's, call her Karen. We're she in a cares. group chat for all that. And she's the first worst person to hit the group chat. But are you hearing this construction <laughs> outside? I'm gonna get to it, and then you're like, you go, girl. Is she <laughs> go, girl. Get to that construction. She black. Yeah. Oh, it's a black of, Karen. God bless her. Yeah, but they they also are Caribbean, so it's another Ooh. situation. Wow, go on. <laughs> and they know they're still in East New York. Exactly. It's not all the way gentrified yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know, but I'm just saying they're building. Because you a lot need of a park. Caribbean Karen. Though. What do you say, Riff Raff? Riff Raff. The ruffians. Riff ra- ruffians. The ruffians. The ruffians. 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 Be careful when you go downstairs. Ruffians. Be ruffians downstairs. <laughs> 
Oh my God. Listen, everybody look out for each other. Uh, but you know what I think about this Duval tweet? Everybody look out for each other. Because all rich ass looking out for y'all. No, that's not true. We are. That Duval tweet is, is interesting because um, you have to have a peaceful relationship to even want to be in a one bedroom apartment. Mm. Like you, you're only going to be with somebody yeah. that you have love for that you already feel peace with because it's a one bedroom apartment. Y'all sharing a bed together, a bathroom. Like that's the next step before marriage. Do you think it's helpful to have time apart in a relationship? Ooh. Yes. Uh, when you mean time apart, you mean like I'm going downstairs to read for a few hours. I'm going <laughs> to the gym. Uh, no, I mean like one of you is traveling or one of you is spending like extensive time away. Like, I don't, no, I don't like that. I ain't with that shit. I mean, look, I, I, huh? Didn't you do it? What do you mean? When you went to Philly and your wife was still in South Carolina. No, no, no. I uh, When I moved back up here to do Breakfast Club, my wife, we weren't married yet, but she was still living in South Carolina. But that was just me getting my feet planted again back in Jersey before I brought my family back up here. I didn't want that. You know, I didn't want I, to I, I, I'll be honest, I like... I like uh, missing my wife, like going away every couple weekends on the road but and then coming though, back working. and being like, yeah, but that's like, I'm, I'm working. I'm doing it for work. Just leaving them for pleasure is weird. But the fact that my job takes me away and I'm like so excited to come back and see my wife, I think that's a really nice energy to have in a relationship. I actually don't like it at all. When I even travel for business, and I know my wife can't always travel because we got four girls, but yeah. I like when my wife travels with me even for business. Because wow. you know that, like that's that's literally my best friend and we do a lot of business together. So yeah. it's just cool. Like, because people don't realize those that going in and out of airports and shit, that's intimate shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when you're on a flight and you know, you and a person are talking, like that shit is intimate shit. Like, and then there's uh, certain yeah. moments that even happen when you're working that you want somebody else to share with. Yeah, I like you know? I like the actual travel with my wife, like literally being at the airport yeah. or the plane, like that's nice. But working, when I'm on the road, I'm working. Yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, I, and I think I feel a responsibility to my wife when she's around me. Like it's very hard for me to like just shut off and be like, okay, I'm not gonna pay attention to you and just do the things I need to do. So now I'm not fully focused on the things I need to do, and I'm not really focused on her. So she's not getting any, any of me. She's not getting 100 percent of me, and I'm not getting 100 percent of me. So mm. I, if it's like a big show, I want her there because of the achievement. But in terms of like work, I like to work. I like to be in work and, mode. And, and, that's and you gotta I, let her know, yo, these chicks still after me, bro. Like don't it's better looking at all. You know Twenty thousand people out there, you know like eleven thousand of them are women screaming for your boy. Hezekiah you know Walker, don't play you know with I mean? me. Don't play <laughs> Schultzy, with me. Schultzy, Schultzy, don't with play the with me. Bulge out. <laughs> that's a fresh haircut. Speaking of no, oh, when the last time you got a cut? I don't know, a few days ago. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Why? Why are you asking? He must have been Russian. Listen, um, he must have been Russian. You saw the uh, like from the country, or he, he, <laughs> <laughs> <or> he was. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't finished. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Don't you try to move off of this? Don't you try to move off of this right now? God gave you a haircut. <laughs> God gave you a haircut. Is funny as shit. God okay. gave you a haircut. Go. All right, let's talk about bust a bust. This is this, bust we're, bust. we're still doing Taylor's uh, segment. All memes matter lives. This is um. <laughs> what is this, Taylor? This is this, this is crazy. <laughs> yo, uh, yo, Buster, Buster, Buster was trending a lot. This is how you sounded talking to us. The way you're right now, yeah. Yeah. this is how you sounded talking yeah. to us when you just, just like, look at this video. Look, this is how this is how the penis look when it's inside. That's how you sounded. What he's doing right there? That's I don't know. crazy. That's, That's wild crazy. for 2023. <laughs> That's crazy. Yo, yo, <laughs> Bus. That's wild for 2023. I didn't know the context of this. All we're, <laughs> nice. we're watching a video on stage. <laughs> And Bus is Do we acting. have audio? Yeah, is there audio? Oh, yeah, yeah, damn, Taylor. That's a, that would make sense, right? Yeah, that no audio's audio. on. It's not really audio. It's, it's sure? got to be audio. He's got a microphone in his hand. He's on stage. It's got to be audio. All it says is Bustin' Rhymes on stage at the final lap tour. Oh, he's... Wow. Wait, this is 50 Cent's tour? Yeah, that's Bustin' tour. I mean, 50's tour. Okay, we gotta explain this. Buster is standing up and he's got the microphone. He's performing, give it to me. 
That's the record with Mariah Carey. He's acting like the the, the microphone is his penis. He's 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 stroking he's it, stroking it like he's masturbating. Then he gives it a little thud, and then it drops like it just got soft. See, it's hard. Then he drops it like it just got soft, and then bomb. Then it went back up again, and then he points. Yeah, I bust. I, I, yeah, that's what bust you. <laughs> Why you a wild boy for that one? You. Like that's like some 1990s stage performance. Like, Spliff Star just went to the background, bro. <laughs> yeah, I, I, no I, like, I can't even hype this. Spliff was like, hell stroke stroke no. Stroke <laughs> you can't even hype Jesus your man being off. Christ. That's crazy. Imagine hyping your man beating off. I'm not even tripping off what he's doing on stage. Yo. He's on stage, he's performing, he's doing give it to me, I understand. But it's 2023. Yo, look you at can't just be doing that to a random woman in the crowd, bro. But maybe she's asking maybe she for it. it. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Not because she'll 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 she might like it today and then be saying how she felt, you know, so offended, you know, two days later. Now that she's asking, what she's screaming, stroke it, stroke the mic. What if she was nah. screaming? Hit the mic with the top of your hand nah. so it gets soft and then I'm make not, it hard again. Nah, I'm not you don't that. think she said that exactly? <laughs> By the way, that's the wrong song. He shouldn't be doing that to give it to me. He should be doing that to touch it. Touch it, baby, baby. Touch it would make more sense. Sip, 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 you know what I'm saying? Automatic. Yes. <laughs> Yo, when, give it to me is, she got to be singing give it to me. Yeah. Baby, if you give it to me. You can't be uh, acting like you're jacking off and it's not touch it, bus. That should have been touching. Yo, shout out to Bus, bro. That's fire. Bus the Bus. <laughs> That's also a crazy Yo, thing to be doing. That's what's a crazy, also crazy name crazy? to have when you're acting like you're jacking off. Nah, but this is what's crazy about it. How you going to jerk it and then bring it back to your lips. That's wild. Yo, son, that's it's a microphone, wild. right? Like, that's wild. Like, that just made me go, hey, yo. Like, my man, hey, hey, yo. That's a yo. That's a yo. That's a yo. yo. To jerk that it is. and then touch it right on your lips and Jesus then go back Christ. down for more? You are absolutely for correct. Us? God damn. Give that's me some a more. little, hey, yo. Give me some more. Yo. <laughs> Give me some more. Oh. Damn, bus. Come on, bus. Bust the bus. Now you need a new mic. You need to ask for a new mic. You gotta be like, split. Let me catch your mic because I can't finish this rap with this one. Salute to the legendary Buster Rhymes. Is that is that in your segment, Taylor? Yeah, that's why yeah, I think threw that mic. Really. Yeah, he's like, I gotta get this off. Buster, touch this. I gotta get this off. This is Buster jerking this shit. Get this shit the fuck away from me. Is the same mic, Buster? You? No, 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 we got. The fuck is wrong with y'all? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, this is good. Let's go back up to this one, Taylor. I like this right here, Tyler Perry. Okay. Oh man, this is a good one. I want Andrew to hear this. I want to know what he thinks. Listen, a, a lot of women, especially black women, and mm -hmm. I might get in trouble for saying this, but I will. In the in in our society right now, mm -hmm. black women are making a lot more money for the most part than yeah. black men. Right? There are a lot of black men who are successful, but for the most part, black women are making the money. So you, if you can find love, if that man works, you know, at whatever job, mm -hmm. and is a good man. And is good to you, mm -hmm. and honors and honors the house, and honors his wife, and does what he can, mm -hmm. because his his gift may not be your gift. Exactly. That is okay. Mm -hmm. That's not somebody who's beneath you. Yeah. That's somebody who came to love you at your worth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. Yes. And as long as he's secure in himself to mm -hmm. know that, yep, she makes most of the money. All I can pay is the light bill. As long as she's comfortable enough to say, I'm going to cover the mortgage and all the other stuff. You have the light bill, baby. You can take me to dinner every now and then. Mm -hmm. That is fine. Yeah. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, but that's so hard for a lot of people to take in because that means, no, no, no. I need somebody to, who is, <laughs> I need, I, they need to make five times more and I got to have, the, I got to have, well, you uh -huh. keep, but go on, keep, keep, go on, keep your list, baby. Yeah. God, God bless you. Hope it happens. Go on, keep your list. <laughs> but when you talk about just someone to love you and support yes. you, I, I know people who have, who, whose men can't touch what they make. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But when you see them together, that love, that support, that that I got you, babe, mm -hmm. it's a beautiful thing. It's over in Listen, Stedman. A, Listen, a let's women. talk about this for a second. Let's take it out of black women, right? Let's just because this is just a woman thing, mm -hmm. right? This is what happens with women's <clears throat> empowerment. The more money women make, and the the less men there will be that are making more <laughs> money than you. So you're going to have to adjust your standards just like men do. If men only dated women that made more money than us, we'd be gay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like you have to adjust that part of your standards, right? And 
if women are gonna start to make more money, which we all hope you do, if women are gonna start to have more financial success, more business success, there's just gonna be fewer men making more money than you. So you either all fight over the same few men or expand your standards to other things outside of income. Out of fucking superficial shit like money. This I doesn't apply to me. I told Taylor yesterday, I said, yeah. number one, all Tyler Perry is telling women to do is be like men. Because to your point, yeah, exactly. if all men yep. dated was, uh, you know, women that was on their financial level, we wouldn't be dating. You're you know right. what I'm saying? Or we'd, right. we'd all be dating each other, right? That's why the standard shouldn't be money. The standard should be fucking love. Exactly. Who's got good character? Who's yeah. got good spirit? Who makes you happy? Who do you like to be with? Who do you spend and enjoy having time with? Like that superficial shit of saying, oh, uh, this person has to have money for me to be with them. You, then you're a prostitute. If you got a price, Ooh. if you got a price, mm. if, a, if, if you got a price and you can be sold to the highest bidder, you're a prostitute. That is a prostitute. <clears throat> That is probably. Why are you looking at me? This doesn't apply to me. I know you like you I've enjoy always... broke dick. We know that about you. That's <laughs> that's not true. I just want someone on the same level. And by the way, there's nothing wrong with broke dick. I'm gonna tell you why. Because all they are good at is dick. No, but I'm gonna tell down. you something, Taylor. This is why we gotta stop. This is why we have to it's stop. It's true. This is why we gotta stop putting a price tag on people. I'm gonna tell yeah, you why. We gotta stop doing that, bro. This was this was we broke, stopped that this was long dick. time ago, but. This was broke dick 13 years ago. I think it was 1865. This, this, this was broke dick how long ago? But you know what? How long ago was you broke dick? No, I'm talking about when we stopped putting a price tag on people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but how you long ago was 1863, it? technically, but you yes. know, the South came around around 1865. But Charlotte, but you always had ambition, though. That's what I'm but that's that's what what I was the, saying, though, when it comes to saying. Everybody has ambition. Nobody wants. No, not everybody I'm not does. I'm going to say everybody has ambition. Some people don't but, have ambition. I hear yeah, what you're saying. But, but nobody their... wants to be poor. Nobody wants nobody to be poor. Nobody wants to be poor. And like, you just said somebody on the same level. What does that mean? I'm saying someone that made. I told you yesterday, someone that makes at least eighty thousand a year. There you I'm go. That's okay the price tag. But I'm saying though, this is the same status that I'm on. What if makes seventy? But they're that's great guys. That's fine. Guy. But if they're grinding and they to got a make big more, team. what if he makes forty and he's grinding and I has ambition? Okay, what? what if he makes forty grand at a certain age? I don't Hold want on. that. What if he makes forty grand as an intern for an investment bank? And if he gets that job that he's interning How for, how old is he? He's gonna, is he doesn't 25? matter. Doesn't matter. He, if he gets that job, he's going to be making 200, 300 grand. And but that's that, all I'm trying to say. In life, there's ups so and there's downs. Right. This broke dick ten years. This broke dick now can be the richest person in the world five years from now. If he has a grind to him, though, a lot of these guys that I've came across, they're comfortable in just either being like a mailman trying to be a rapper. Like, it's just like, it's not a lot of... Because you like nine-inch dicks. That's another thing. It's That's very right. rare yes. that... <laughs> it's very rare you're going to find a nine-inch That's dick right. who's hardworking. It's very rare you're going to find a nine-inch dick who's going to be successful. That's a very rare thing. And you be on Broad and Eerie. What? What's that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't hear what you said. Like, shut up. That? <laughs> That's a street in Philly. Like, shut up. Oh, yo. I thought Broad and Eerie. <laughs> Did he just use Philly streets? Yes. You do no do that. Reason. You do do that. I thought, I I thought, was, uh, I thought he was setting us all up yeah, for a thing too. I thought you were <laughs> dead. Son, I got, I got set Son. up, bro. Someone almost caught me, bro. Really? This motherfucker messaged me on Instagram. He goes, uh, he goes, hey man, uh, one of the one of these professors that I've been watching for the last three years mentioned you in one of his live, um, <laughs> one of his live, uh, what are they called, uh, lectures. I've been watching this guy for three years. He mentioned him in one of his uh, live lectures. His name is uh, Howard Dietz, and he talked about you as you know being uh, you know at the forefront of the third golden age in New York comedy. And I was like, damn right, I'm getting my love, bro. It's about time I'm getting my love for what I've done to the game. You know what I mean? And then I was like, but let me just do a little Google search before I hit this guy back with like, oh, send me a lecture. I was about to be yeah, so yeah, good. Yeah. And I looked, there ain't no Howard Dietz. And I was like, oh, Howard D's nuts in your mouth. <laughs> <aren't they?" laughs> Fuck, bro. He was this close to getting me, bro. This fucking close. <laughs> Howard Dietz's nuts is fantastic. That's fantastic. That is hilarious. But man, the moral of the story is ladies and guys, yo, man, stop being so superficial. Love people for for what for love. What happened to love, bro? Yeah, we're trying to fall in love with somebody, man. Like, god damn. Like, oh, you you putting a price tag on, on love? We're not people saying don't have trying to fall in love. No, we're but... not saying don't have standards, by the way. We're not saying don't have standards. At but all. Your standards should match you. No, 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 no. Your standards will inform your standards will end up being financial 
but they don't have to start there. For example, there's a guy who makes half a million dollars a year who's a piece of shit. He Hates shouldn't. You. He shouldn't be like already accepted because of that. He'll beat you every day. He might. He'll abuse you every day, he verbally, might. emotionally, mentally, physically, however you want it. But he rich. Show you, you want that? Videos without your consent of dick going in pussy. Come on, man. <laughs> Sick shit. Disgusting <laughs> filth. Come on, man. Disgusting Sick filth. Shit pe people, shit people should be arrested for. Arrested. You know what I mean? Literally absolutely. arrested. Absolutely, absolutely. I want to see dick penetrating pussy. How do we know it wasn't butthole? That is a good oh, goddamn shit. question. Yeah, it was probably butthole. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably butthole. I'm going to be honest with you. Us, that bro. shit you showed us, I'd never seen whatever was inside that shit. I saw the penis going in and kept hitting something. I saw yeah, corn. They were saying when I it hit. I saw hits, corn and lettuce. Uh, uh, what a birth control thing. That's what that was? I guess so. Oh, the yeah. IUI? Yeah. No, nah, that's that shit. That, not IUI. That, that's IUD. Yeah. That's that shit. Stifler was getting hit in goddamn American Pie. Oh, that made him nut? That damn, yeah. You man. know that's a lie. The gays made up so they, uh, they could fuck Why us. Why do you think it's a lie? It's a lie. Gays made up so they could it's get straight guys. It's a lie. DL niggas, though. Golly, that sounded sharp. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it sound like that was a sword? She just hit me with that. And we're with sharp. What if you'd have replied, Hughley? You. <laughs> 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 Son, yo, DL can never come out as gay, bro. Because if he does, oh my god, oh my, he was Ooh. telling us the it whole was right time, there, right in our face. <laughs> <laughs> Salute to DL, man. That's DL, man, bro. Man, DL is one of the funniest people ever to walk the legend. face of the earth, man. One of the funniest and smartest people ever to walk the face of the yeah, earth. Yeah, shout out DL. But yeah, find somebody that loves you for you. And stop saying that people are settling. Because that's not, when, 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 you're, when you say that, when you're putting money on something and you say that people are settling, they're not, you're, 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 that's not settling because it's like a, a good person is a good person. Mm. A great human is a great human. They may not have, you know, financial means, but if you connect with this great person and this great person opens you up mentally and spiritually and makes you feel like you've never felt before and, you know, you're happy every time you see this person. Your energy just goes up every time you see this person. That's not settling. Also, you might inspire that person to want more. Mm -hmm. You might inspire that person to work harder. You <laughs> might inspire that person. All I'm saying, like I said, I want someone on my level. But even sometimes that doesn't matter because Why I don't Why don't you with... look for an ambitious man and when you just say yeah, ambitious... Yeah, that's what I look for. That's it, so don't put the money on it. If you look I for... I don't. Yes, you do. I'm Why? Done. You started with it. Gotta be 80000 I would like for him... If I'm making the same amount... You should be dating struggling producers. Why? Like people who got a beat place. <laughs> <laughs> this, guy, this guy is... This guy is... You are... <laughs> this guy is an absolute. He's, he's out of control. He's yo. He's trying to rile you up. I know he's trying and to you rile know what? you. You get riled up no. every single no, time. No, I'm not. You fall for the rile really every not. single time. No, no, no. But you're trying to do this listen. thing like I'm not. I'm not bothered. But like your shoulders are showing me you're bothered. <laughs> if your shoulders hit your hoop earrings, no. you're bothered. Let's he riled you. He riled you. Well, listen, let's just think about it. Oh, he's going. He's going right Taylor's back. Level. He going listen, right listen, back. Listen, listen, yo, listen. So let me just ask. Let me ask you a question. He's for what? You want to get on this plane? You want to get on this plane? I, I do. I do. I do. We should okay, go. I just want to make sure. We should do. Okay. How, how tall are you? I'm 5'1". So, okay, so he's 5'1". All right. <laughs> All right, so 5'1". Let's, let's just put together Taylor's man. He's 5'1". You got to okay. get the dude a few more inches over a woman. 5'1". Five, 5'1". Five. Five, five, um, attractive. Very attractive. attractive. Beautiful. A beautiful smile. Not thick, but attractive. You don't, you, you, got no curves. Got no ass. Whoa. Got no ass. Whoa. Charlotte got way Whoa. more ass. That's Charlotte true. Charlotte got that's way true. more All ass. That's true. All that's true. Stunningly beautiful. All that's true. Yeah. Incredible All that's true. smile. All that's true. Incredible amazing, smile. Amazing personality. La likes to laugh. Ugh, personality needs oh, work. No, no, no. Depending who. Podcast personality is different than life. She's 10 out of 10. You're right. You're life, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Taylor and life podcast, is yeah, yeah, you're She right. likes yeah, to yeah, make yeah. sure that if there's. Amazing dad jokes. Oh, what are some of the greatest dad, dad jokes ever? Jokes. Come on, bro. Yeah. Amazing on. dad jokes. Dad jokes are top. Amazing dad, dad jokes. jokes are top. Amazing right? dad jokes. 100%. <laughs> dad jokes. Um, She's a catcher. You know that. A catcher? Oh, former athlete. Catch a dish. <laughs> I hit your both. I hit your both. I, I hit your both. That was a double win. That was a double win. <laughs> and a former, former athlete. Former athlete, yeah. Former athlete. Lost it. Yeah. Lost it all. Don't have that anymore. Definitely. You think he lost it? <sighs> totally lost it. Did I did I put the last name on the coffee? Still, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. He he definitely lost a street race a few years ago. Made okay. him realize it's over for Okay. Him. Right. Hard worker. Hard worker. Unbelievably Very hard creative. worker. Very creative. Creative. Ambitious. People are starting to recognize that hard work. Yo, this person, this guy's a really good producer. 
right? He's had one or two album cuts on some mixtapes out of Philly. Oh, wow. Not no big, not no big singles yet. Wow. You okay. know what I mean? Okay. But, but the album cuts some are hot there. shit off Meek's mixtapes. Hot. Got some hot shit. Hot. hot shit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit you look to like, oh, that's my shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? It ain't I'm a boss. Mm. Yep. You know what I mean? Little, a little bit of a liar. Ooh. Little bit of a bit. liar. But but you know they lying, so you don't really take it too seriously. Exactly. Yeah. It's not yeah, that yeah. big a deal. Where are you going with this? I'm describing I'm putting a man on your level. I'm describing you. Yeah. Do you, you like that guy? Are you in love with this guy? I'm in love with Would him. Would you date him? I I'm in love with him. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and by, the way, like by the way, hold, by, we didn't, we didn't, we, let's say the most important thing. They're gonna be super successful. Mm. Ooh. But it's about do you believe in that person? Yeah, of course. But, now here's but the he question. Gotta... Big dick or little dick? I would definitely want <laughs> Well, I definitely want to go for a bigger dick. No, no, it's not it's not it's not what you would go for. It's what is your male equivalent? Cause if you go big dick, that means you're you're so stupid, I'm just saying, yo. So you just now got it. <laughs> so, so I'm assuming you're, you're First you know of what all, I mean? when I say on my level, I am not talking about all the characteristics I have. Because honestly, I would want him to have characteristics that I don't have, so he could, we could balance each other out. Like what? Um. You wanted to be a seesaw. You don't want the seesaw to be like this. You don't. Want to, you don't want. You want it to be balanced. I hate y'all here. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I hate it here. I, I, I see the guy way up in the <laughs> air. Like, what yeah, you doing up there, this guy yo? Is a, this Come why, down why here. Why is he trying to kill She's at her level. Come down. Taylor, get up so he can get down here. Taylor, get up. <laughs> nice stand, y'all, yo. Oh, my God. <laughs> yo, this guy's trying to row you up yeah, every man. week, yo. What do you mean? Why you let him row you I up? I try to tell you I fight every you day. You got to row him back. Every day. Taylor. I row him up the other day. Day. Oh, what you I did. say? What yeah, I say? Last drink time. 24 ounces of water in 3.2 seconds. Say that was unbelievable. Time. Taylor's just cruel. <laughs> Taylor's just cruel. Like for uh, no you, reason. Like nah, for what no you do? This is good. I'm this just sitting good. in the studio minding oh, my business, that's talking that's about all the pod. No, we was in the studio at Bump Club. <laughs> See, this is the thing with Taylor. I like to say things on the I microphone for entertainment. Basement. Taylor likes to say things off the microphone for her own personal. What did you say? What did you say? I'm just sitting there minding my business. She turns to me and she goes, No, don't do that. You're lying. That's why your wife fucked a bigger dick no, in college. Wow. No, that's not what happened. God that's damn. not what happened. What I'm did you like, say to me? What the fuck did I do? What you did you say to me first? That. You are not an doing that shit. Just a liar. I was praying. I was sitting there praying and I got up from prayer <laughs> and she just looked at me and goes, That's why your wife fucked a bigger you dick in college. You're such a liar. I read when your a man book. finished praying, I read your book. <laughs> When a man finished praying, yo? after I finished praying, after he finished praying, it's crazy. You're such a liar. What were you, what were you praying for? That his dick was a little smaller. I was praying for Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> I was praying for Taylor. Actually, that's the crazy part. Wait, 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 wait. What were you praying? That's not what happened. I was praying for Taylor. He asked me a question about, I guess, I think that topic, that and he lie. was like, what? and he was like, um, Taylor. I mean, don't you? There's gonna be guys that. I forgot what you said, See, and it bothers me, but it was a, something about- A lot of a liar. You said no, a little bit of a liar. but you said something a about- A lot of a liar. Listen, you said something about other guys. I'm like, yeah, the same way how your mom- Oh, how your mom. How your Whoa, wife- How yo, my mom? Sorry, 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 sorry. You see how she's sorry. already setting up the next one? That's Taylor. This is her. <laughs> Why is she talking about your mom? What the fuck did bro? my mom do? Because you know what's crazy? She didn't finish the sentence, but we all did in our minds. Yeah. <laughs> so she made us finish that joke in our minds, bro. She got the up. joke off without getting the joke without off. Without getting the joke off. That's man. crazy. She did that on bro. purpose, yo. Why you made me that's think about up, that? That's fucked up, Taylor. Taylor, that's so fucked up. Why you make me said, think about that, bro? I said that, like, how your wife found bigger dick. For no reason. That's fucking. I feel I forgot what you said, though. I That's feel uncomfortable. Me. me personally, I'm my not, stomach listen, don't feel You know right. why I'm not tripping? Because Thanksgiving is on the way, baby. What does that mean? Taylor, know what Thanksgiving? What happens around Thanksgiving? Taylor, what happens around Thanksgiving? I don't know what happens. Taylor, mama gonna bring me some of that pie. And my dad's gonna knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <talking> <laughs> about. My mama's fine. Mama gonna bring me some of that good sweet potato pie. <laughs> Hold hey, on. Son, is, 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 wait, is your mom still bringing him that good sweet potato? Yo, which I'm not about to do. Sometimes even cake. 
What y'all not no about to do. I love when, what I love, y'all I love not about asked, to do. I love when she asked the tailor, ask Charlemagne, does he want cake or pie That's not what happened. Both of them. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. That's not what happened. You're trying it. 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 You're trying I'm telling y'all right now. Mrs. I Taylor, don't. Mrs. Taylor, all I am Mrs. doing. Taylor. <laughs> Mrs. Taylor. Mrs. Taylor's mom, Mrs. Hayes, Mrs. Hayes, all I'm doing is respectfully asking for some sweet potato pie and, <laughs> and some and cake. Some, some of that nice mm-hmm. soft cake. Just make sure it's moist. <laughs> it, it's moist, man. It's got to be moist. Especially when she cooks it and lets it sit for a couple Look, of days. Let me tell you something. That My dad's aged, oh, let me tell you something. 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 Nah, that's Philly pound cake. That's Philly pound cake. You do not want my father up here. I promise you that. No, don't that. Okay. Stop. Stop. Stop coming for his wife then. We are coming for his wife. We just. All right. All right. We're coming for his wife. Big it up for cooking. <laughs> yo, I cannot. Taylor, you really yo, started this talking about family members. They're talking yo. about cooking wise. You okay? talked about his mom. My mom ain't do nothing to you, Taylor. I didn't say. I meant to say wife. But, but we knew what you were going for. <laughs> yo, that was crazy. His mom fornicating. <laughs> That's crazy to even even mention such a thing like that. Taylor, like, I'm like crazy. I'm flabbergasted. Crazy. Do y'all want to go to an ad? Yes, let's play some Bill's Taylor game. <laughs> Thanksgiving is on the way. Go. Give us on the way. That's anyway, shout out to Devane. Our apologies. Who's Devane? Devane on this thing. Oh, shut the fuck up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Devane, oh, what is wrong with you? Yeah. Devane on this motherfucking dick. Okay? Shit. Oh. <laughs> Salute to Elevate You, man. Elevate you, we appreciate you, man. I really got to tell you about this thing called Elevate You because it's been keeping us feeling fresh and healthy and energized. Elevate you, okay? You see this? Vitality Daily Greens, co-founded by the good brother Steve Harvey. Big unk, Steve Harvey, and formulated by Harvard scientists, okay? It's a game-changing formula that boosts your body's mitochondrial production, providing you with sustained energy throughout the day. No more relying on coffee or unhealthy energy drinks to get you going. It's packed with over 30 superfoods, vitamins, and minerals to feel energized, focused, and ready to tackle your day. Would you like to hear some of the key benefits? Yo, I need to know the key benefits because I'm the type of person, if I don't know the benefits, I might not even indulge in it. 30 superfoods per serving. Nine greens per serving. Wow. Clinically studied probiotics. Wow. Contains fruits, vegetables, mushroom blend. Okay. Enzymes to aid digestion. Zero grams added sugar. Very, Very important. important. Very important. Uh, vegan, gluten free, 15 calories per serving. Cost only a dollar fifty per day. And you get all that benefit for a dollar fifty per day. Come on, get out of here. Come on, man. Elevate you. Also has a 60-day money-back guarantee. Amazing. If you are not 100 percent satisfied, they'll refund your full purchase price. Now I know Amazing. how hard it is to stay on top of your health and nutrition game. Sometimes it feels like there's just not enough hours in the day to get everything done. But with Elevate You, you don't have to worry about that no more. All right. This stuff is packed with all the nutrients and vitamins you need to keep your body running like a well-oiled machine. And the best part, it's super easy to use. Just mix a scoop into your water or juice and you're good to go and it comes in three delicious flavors chocolate tart cherry and original greens and check this out elevate you also has a 60 day money back guarantee if you are not 100 percent satisfied they'll refund your full purchase price i mean that's incredible so take control of your health today and experience more daily energy with Elevate You Vitality Greens. Go to L-E-V-A-T-E-Y-O-U dot com and use promo code IDIOTS for 15% off your entire purchase. And salute to our guy, Steve Harvey, man. That is my... The legend. That's, that's the legend. That's Unk, you know, a great mentor of mine. He's given me fantastic advice throughout the years. And uh, I'm actually going... I'm, I'm actually... Um, I'll see him soon, right? Yeah, I'm going to kick it with Steve... Uh, in, in, in November. The, in, uh, out there in the uh, Middle in East, In Dubai, right? yep. Yeah. In Dubai. Hey, this episode, you know, is also brought to you by uh, Priceline. Did you know that? When it comes to travel, we all have a happy place. You can see yourself there immediately, and it is just glorious. And now think of your summer happy place. The sun, the sand. 
The big city or the town that you just explored, we all have a happy place. Listen, my summer happy place last few, few years has been um, in uh, Amalfi, Italy. It's been absolutely amazing. But then we went to Bodrum, Turkey, which is incredible. I implore you all to go check that out. South of France was amazing. Shit, Labor Day weekend, we were out in the Hamptons, and it was absolutely phenomenal. So, uh, you know, next summer, for all of you guys... Check out one of those places if you can, man. Just fantastic, relaxing, beautiful. You need it. You deserve it. If you can get out there, just get out there. Uh, Priceline is going to help you get there, and they're going to help you travel to your happy place for a happy price, which is the most important, okay? They have deals that you can't find anywhere else. Also, you're going to have a happy place for the winter, and they're going to help you get there as well. Plan that winter travel now before it gets too expensive. You That's know right. planning that right before winter is going to be crazy. You're just not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to get the hotel you want to get. The flights are going to be crazy. Get on that right now, and Priceline can help you with summer and Winter, uh, I'm telling you, Priceline's VIP program is fantastic, okay? It's free to join. All you need to do is sign up and book a trip. They have savings on hotels, flights, rental cards, and select deals that you can't find anywhere else. Free to join, and they got the deals for all the places that you already want to go. Why would you not do it? No brainer. Every trip gets you closer to the next level and unlocks even more benefits. Plus, you can choose up to five members to add to your VIP family so that together you can bundle your trips and unlock savings even more. That's brilliant. If you know you're going to go to a place with all the homies, go there, get all those points, and use that for upgrades maybe in the hotel. Use that for experiences that you can get some sort of discounts on. What I'm telling you is... Shoot, you know, put your girl on it, put your best friends on it, put everybody that you possibly can that's close to you so you can stack it up. You can visit Priceline.com slash brilliant to go to your happy price this summer, this winter, next summer, next winter. Get ahead of it. People are out there traveling again, and it's going to get booked up. Now let's get back to the show. We got church announcement show today. Yes, sir. We do, we do, we do, we do. Tour announcement, man, this weekend. Uh, first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for everybody who came out to the shows in Long Island. That was unbelievable. We did six sold-out shows at the Paramount. Crazy. Legendary, Crazy. legendary venue out there in Long Island. So thank you so much. This weekend's uh, Niagara Falls is sold out, but we have a few seats left for Windsor, Ontario, so come to that. The weekend after that, we're doing the Scotiabank Arena in Toronto. Those two shows are sold out. I'm so fucking excited. Uh, and then we're going to head out there to Europe. We got Dublin, the three arena. We just opened up more seats in the three arena. Go get those. We added another show in Manchester at the O2 Apollo on October 15th. It's a 4 p.m. show, so get there. Uh, England, we are not adding any more shows. So what I implore you guys to do is to come up to that Manchester second show we just added. We had a second show in Perth, Australia. Uh, Melbourne, we added more seats to the John Kane Arena. That's unreal. They do the fucking Australia Open there, so we're excited to even be performing there. The Aware Super Theater in Sydney, we added a second show, and uh, we're also coming out there to Brisbane. So thank you guys so much. TheAndrewSchultz.com for those, and then uh, very, very near future, some very cool announcements. Cannot wait. Uh, what you got, Charlotte? Salute to the homie uh, DJ Cuppy. She wants to come to one of the shows. I think she said she wanted to come to... You got a show in Dubai? Uh, we got a show in uh, Abu Dhabi. Yes, Abu Dhabi. That, yeah, but with that, yeah, we got either you. Abu Dhabi or London. She wanted either to come one. To. She can come to. We'll make it happen. <clears throat> yes, we love you, Cuppy. Yes, with the Cuppy. I was with Cuppy uh, last week, actually. Oh yeah, where? Um, she actually her she was in town. Um, because she spoke at the United Nations. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was in town. We had dinner uh last week. Her mom made us a lovely Nigerian meal. Oh, well, um, that that little jollof rice. Oh man, oh, jollof rice, man. The oxtails and the chicken and the it's amazing. I mean, the Nigerians are going to be upset when I say this, but that Senegalese jollof is really the top of the top. Really. I mean, be, some I, might say the the Ghanaian jollof is Ghanaian the best. Is, is fire when they put the goat juice on it. Ooh, and they put that gold juice on. I like Nigerian jollof too, though. I have never had Senegalese jollof, but that 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 Ghana jollof is fire when they have that gold juice dripping on it. Fire. Oof, man. Mm. Senegalese is fire like that. You know, we did a jollof off on the pod on uh, flagrant years ago, and I think that we agreed that we liked the Senegalese yeah. the most. It was the most flavorful. It was the most. Uh, mm. Oh, really? Are you from Senegal? Uh, Guinea Bissau, Sen Senegal. And um, uh, Sierra, uh, Sierra, Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. Yeah. Now here's the thing: that we, Mali region. We assumed that there might be some influence from like French cuisine in it, whereas like in uh, in Nigeria, you're gonna get more. What is that? It was British colonialization right there, right? 
So the French got better food than the British. Mm -hmm. And then Ghana, what was the, who was occupying Ghana? Who colonized Ghana? Spain, Spaniards. Is that right? But they also speak English, right? right? I thought it was Britain. I thought it was the Spaniards. I'm not sure. Look that uh, up. I think it was the Spaniards. But also, <clears throat> yeah, it was it was because it was uh, it was General uh, Chow. <laughs> Yo, that was foul. That was fire. But there's no such thing as a Spanish General Chow. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't think of a Yo, Spanish son, name. I almost I wanted to give it to you because the setup was immaculate. <laughs> but you fucked up. I couldn't think of an old Spanish name. I was like. I'm like, shit, I should have said the Asians. <laughs> <laughs> but oh. shout out to y'all. Yes, and listen, Yo, we need to get some good Joe Loft in the city. Where's the best? Yo, brilliant idiots. Where's the know, best Joe Loft in New York City? That's we need to get question. a nice that's Joe Loft. Uh, let me, I got a couple church announcements. All right, uh, hit him. Invisible Generals. Salute to my guy, Doug Melville. His new book. Well, his first book, Invisible Generals, will be in stores uh, November 7th. It is uh, the next release off my book in print, Black Privilege Publishing with Simon & Schuster. It tells the amazing true story of America's first black generals, Benjamin O. Davis Sr. and Jr., a father and son who helped integrate the American military and create the famous Tuskegee Airmen. So if you are a person who likes stories about hidden figures in our society, uh, Invisible Generals is the book for you. It's available for pre-order everywhere now, but it's in bookstores on November seventh. Um, also got to tell you too, my Mental Wealth Expo, man, my third annual Mental Wealth Expo was happening October 7th at the Marriott Marquis in Times Square, New York City, a day of mental health and healing education, okay? In honor of World Mental Health Day, we got a great lineup for you. Dr. Alfie Breland Noble, who runs the Acoma Project, as well as my foundation, the Mental Wealth Alliance. My man, Carson Daly, who's a big mental health advocate. Dr. Rita Walker, a phenomenal, phenomenal mental health expert who has a great book called The Unapologetic Guide to Black Mental Health. You know I recommend that book to everybody. Uh, the good sister, Michelle Williams, from the Checking In Podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio Podcast Network and Destiny's Child. She'll be there. She's a great mental health advocate advocate, Dr. J. Barnett, Brandon Marshall, Angela Rye, uh, Elliot Connie, a great psychotherapist, uh, Resma Minicum, the author of My Grandmother's Hands, he'll be there, just to name a few. And it's a free event, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., Marriott Marquis, Times Square, Saturday, October 7th, mentalwealthexpo.com, my um, third annual Mental Wealth Expo, <clears throat> you know, because we have all these conversations and you hear us talk about, you know, going on vacations and, you know, everybody claims to be doing so well. I keep telling y'all over and over, this is my challenge to all of y'all. If you're doing so well, pour back into other people. Mm -hmm. Give back to other people. Mm -hmm. If what you're doing only benefits you, it's not big enough. Mm -hmm. I don't know why that would upset anybody unless they know they're not doing anything at all. Oh, wow. Why, someone people. got upset about that? I don't know. I just like to throw it out there mm. and to speak to everybody. I like to speak to the people who are doing those things, and I like to speak to the people who, who aren't. And you have to decide within yourself which one of those people you are. Oh, one more thing, Taylor. Yes, and speaking of doing things for people, not only do we have the Mental Wealth Expo, uh, my third annual Mental Wealth Expo, we are calling all HBCU scholars right now. Uh, join us for a weekend full of networking, music, and celebrating black culture in Nashville, Tennessee on November 3rd and 4th of 2023 because the second annual Thriller Possibility Summit is coming back to Nashville this year. It is an event brought to you by the Black Effect and Nissan. Um, it is a two-day professional development weekend, and we got live music, we got networking, we have a whole series of panel discussions with Nissan executives and Black Effect talent and people who actually, you know, went to HBCUs and went on to be successful. The only thing you got to do to qualify is you must be a current HBCU student and you must be majoring in a STEAM field, Okay. Must be a current HBCU student, and you must be majoring in a STEAM field. And you can go to blackeffect.com, click on Thriller Possibility Summit 2023, and uh, you'll get more information on that, okay? Now let's get back to the show. <sighs> what else we got, Taylor? Oh, my Cowboys definitely going to the Super Bowl this you year. Really you really think it? No. Come on, man. Listen, <laughs> I say that a lot. 
But you feel it. I've been saying it for 27 motherfucking years. The Jets without Aaron Rodgers, you're like, yeah, it's definitely. Gonna... Man, I'm just telling you, February 11th, 2024, we will be playing on Sunday, February 11th, 2024. And it's not even about, it's about the defense. This is going to be, remember I said this, this is going to be one of the most elite defenses of all time. And what changed? Nothing. It's just a team that's been playing together for a while. They added Stephon Gilmore at cornerback. You got Michael Parsons in his third year. I think Trayvon Diggs is in his, his third year now. These guys are just seasoned. You know, they, they were already beast with extremely raw talent, led the league in takeaways over the last couple of years. But now the pass rush with Michael Parsons and Demarcus Lawrence, you got a front seven that you can line up any motherfucking where. Okay? My Dallas Cowboys are going to the Super Bowl. Okay? All right? Remember I said it here first. I've been saying it for the past 27 years. Don't worry about it. I told y'all one of these years I was going to be right. This is the year I'm right. Hmm. Okay? You doubting me? Suck my dick. <laughs> wow. Suck dude. my big D. Suck my big D, my big D. <laughs> what we got, Taylor? <laughs> what's, what's happening, man? <laughs> Is this a, a song that you're remixing? <laughs> yeah. Is this Sexy Red? Yo, did you hear about the young lady oh boy. in Florida who took her 11-year-old son with her because she was at this resort and she met these two guys and these guys had some drugs and she didn't have a babysitter, so she did the drugs with the two guys, let the two guys run a train on her. In front of the 11-year-old In front of the 11-year-old. And then she left with one of the guys, and then the other guy died. And so the 11-year-old just had to sit in there. There's no way this with is the real. dead body. Florida woman arrested after leaving her son in a hotel room with dead man she did drugs with. Oh, my what? God. Come on, man. A Florida woman is facing child neglect charges after she brought her 11-year-old son into a hotel room with two other men she used drugs with and had a menage a trois with. Why do they say menage a trois? Why do they just say, say the train? Yeah. You know what I I'm saying? I think that's a train. Can you imagine that? That's, yo, 11 years old, you old enough to like record that. Yeah. And put it on Pornhub. Yeah. The title. <laughs> hanging, hanging while mom banging. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hanging, hanging while mom banging. 60 year old man was pronounced dead. Oh, Jesus. Damn, bro. Yeah. Damn. He was 60? 60 years old, man. She was 32. Like, there's a lot of things you bring your children with you with because you don't have the babysitter. Like, you might bring them to work for a second. You know, you might even have to bring them to school, you know, run into a friend's house real quick. But, yo, you like, I'm about to go do this drug-fueled threesome? Is that the only time it's okay to leave them in a car with the windows up? <laughs> man, shut up. Oh, man. my God. No. <laughs> no. He's 11, though. That's the thing. He would know how to get out. He Jesus would know how to unlock Christ. it, but just leave him in the car, right? What would be the worst thing about watching your mom getting a train ran on her? The worst thing? Just watching it in general. Damn, Siri? Yeah. <laughs> um, the worst thing about watching your mom get a train ran on her? Slimed out. Get <laughs> Damn. God damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. Watching your mom getting slimed out is crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. I mean, the worst thing would be like her, like, if she's asking for more. Or she's like harder, you know what I mean? Or like, that's the worst thing. Yeah, I think that's the worst thing. Oh, yeah. I think the smell. Oh, like, God. if you smell something, <laughs> like, imagine having to say your mom got a stink pussy. Mm. <laughs> yeah. And you came out of it. You're like, oh, oh that's, my God. That's why I got bad That's why breath. I got body odor. Yes. <laughs> they, they always teasing the me all the time for my body family. odor. No, that's crazy, bro. <laughs> That's a that's crazy. That's crazy. That's a different level when you know your mom got stink boom boom. Yeah. God damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Now they got it. They got it. They got to. They got to lock her up, bro. Like, nah, 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 nah. She gotta go. Insane. She gotta go. She was she the kid in the bathroom at least or something. You know why she gotta go? No, it's like come on, man. It's like a. Room in Florida, like I don't know, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't in the room. bathroom, right? You would hope that there was another. You would hope he wasn't in the room, right? Yeah, he gotta go to the bathroom, play yeah, but video he's games. The sounds. Yeah, what do you even tell your kid? Are you doing? Put your AirPods in. Put your AirPods in. Play Roblox. Yeah, play fuck. Roblox. But what are y'all in there playing? Bob the Builder. <laughs> you don't hear me getting screwed in hammers, <laughs> bro. <laughs> have you ever heard your parents have sex? 
Uh, nah, not Come heard. on, bro. You had to. Nah, you nah, nah. I never heard. I used to hear my dad beating it up all the time. Oh, what? my God. He was putting in work? He was putting in work. He was putting in work. Damn. He was putting, yeah. How do you know he was putting in work, though? Because my mom would say the name. Lottie. Lottie. <laughs> oh, Lottie. <laughs> Lottie. <laughs> oh, Lottie. <laughs> Man, that my mom, is my, sick. Bro, my brother was young. He was he was thinking something was wrong with my mom. She was hurt. He would go to help. He oh get he go out of his room. He like man, is cut it out, man. Okay? Is everything okay, mom? And I'd be like, yo, go check and see if everything's okay. <laughs> 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 yeah. Would he go in? He would go in. My oh. mom like, oh no, Greg, go back to your room, Greg. <laughs> Damn. Go back to your room. I just pulled me back. Damn. Your father was just giving me a wee massage. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled me back. Oh, Lord. Lord have mercy, nah, but Yeah, man. yeah, Larry Schultz. Long dick Larry. Big Larry. LDL, baby. That's for real, the LDL. The LD Long fucking Larry. L. That's what they heard. But y'all never heard your parents have nah, sex? I never heard parents. That's weird. That's more weird for y'all than me. I walked never. in I walked in once, but it wasn't like... I, they were, like they were, they were, they were under the covers. They didn't even notice that. I, 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 oh, shit. You know what I mean? But but why'd you walk in? Because you heard it? Nah, I was just... I don't know. I was a kid. I just remember walking in and seeing... Oh, shit. What would you think? What'd you see? They was under the covers. like so. You, but I just knew that... You know, I, I, had watched, I had watched enough Porky's by then to know that, you no, know, it was going what down. the fuck was happening. It was going down. You said what? You didn't have locks? I don't like how you judge the poor. <laughs> yeah. Sound like Taylor's just like, yo, y'all didn't have locks? Like, I don't know why you so judgmental of the poor just because you grew up in Upper Lower Derby. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, y'all, ne you never heard your mom or your dad getting in? Never? I would know if the door is locked, though. Like, that's the only... I never heard anything. Even after she made pie, though? Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing with me. So let me ask you a question. If she comes She's to the station... Good boy, I know, I know. Her. I should, when, she, when she comes that to the station... That's a good one. That is a powerful when one. When she that comes is, to the station... That's a tone. Like, it's just... Whoa. Next time your mama comes to the station and it's afternoon... Right, yeah, yeah. And you know how the studio locks afternoon. Oh, uh -huh. What if it's me and her in there? Are you gonna have like my nigga? <laughs> what? Stop playing. With <laughs> what? Stop. Playing I'm sorry. With you don't hit the sorry. same when you put the my before yeah, yeah. it. It yeah, softens the it with yeah, the my. Yeah, yeah, but if you yeah, just yeah. open I'm up with it, I'm not trying to say any type of way. I mean, Stop it, it, with it, it me. is. Yeah, it sounds like a term of endearment. Yeah. Yeah. When you just lead with the end, it's like scary. It's like uh oh, yeah. It cuts like oh. Oh man, first of all. First of all, two things. Yeah. These are good topics. First of all, I love Doja Cat. Have I ever told y'all that? No. I, I think so. I love Doja Cat. Doja Cat is one of the dopest artists out here. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the thing I love she's about She's incredibly Cat talented. She, she's incredibly talented. Yeah. Like, she, she's actually the dopest female. I'm going to tell you who I think the two dopest female rappers are well three because Rhapsody is just a great rapper Rhapsody is like a phenomenal lyricist period I think she's one of just the best lyricists male or female whatever but I'm talking about when it comes to like making music Doja Cat and Doji don't get enough flowers Doja more De Doja definitely because Doja just, Doja just put out a number one record Paint the Town Red it was number one in the country um, last week I believe it was or a couple weeks ago I think first rap number one in first rap number one on the Billboard 100 the all year, year I believe wow. yeah but her and Doji make incredible incredible music but the thing I love about Doja Cat the most she is controlling her narrative on social media perfectly and she's got everybody thinking she doesn't but if you're actually paying attention you realize y'all are eating out of the palm of her hands yeah she gets the internet she's an internet kid though explain she, this is a, play this video Everybody was clowning her about this. She knew exactly what she was doing. She's online talking to live, right? And they keep telling her, something's behind you. <laughs> something's behind you. Something's behind you. All she does is play into it. Press play. At 1 a.m., a big fat fucking wagon. That's what's behind me. Look behind me. Oh, nothing new. Wait a minute. No, I'm good. Nothing new, just my big fat ass. She's just playing with y'all. Try again. Right? And y'all think y'all, but people think they're scaring her. Or even when she did that thing where she was like, stop following me if you don't like me. 
And then every people they said people were unfollowing her. Yeah, she lost like a lot of followers. She had the number one record in the country two weeks ago, Alex. Every single she's put out from this new album has slapped. She's gonna be all right. She's more than all right. She had the number one record she, in the country two weeks ago. It's just followers. It's just followers. That shit don't matter. All it does is keep yeah. attention. And she always does oh, this. Oh, she, oh. Go, she, go. she 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 dresses the the. I thought it was Nightcrawler. Everybody was like, oh, she's she's pretending to be a demon, right? She was embodying Nightcrawler to me. Or the other one, she was embodying uh, the Scarlet Witch from X Men with the red hoodie and everything else. And yeah. everybody's like. Oh, she's all demonic and devilish and this and that. All it does is cause people to talk about her yeah. and pay attention to the music. They're listening to this song, Paint the Town Red, and yeah. they're like, this is devilish. Why would she say? I mean, actors, act, I mean, sorry, musicians have been, you know, doing the whole devil thing for years. Or like, you Three know, Six Mafia, DMX, yeah. every heavy metal artist, every, every yeah. rock artist. It's like, a great way to rile people about? up when you're about to drop an album where you want to create controversy. But I think the thing with her is like, she's an internet kids she grew up on the internet deep dark sections of the internet That's so right. she's fluent with the internet so she knows how to play it utilize it to her advantage and uh i think she's doing it incredibly well she's like, bringing back the rollout yeah when when is the when have we seen when is the last time you've seen an actual album rollout? drake's rollout has been unbelievable unprecedented you like drake's rollout the amount of time that he's been able to hold attention about the album coming out has been unbelievable. And like the way that I look at it is this. Some people do a rollout for a streaming show, mm -hmm. right? Where you go, oh my God, we're dropping this new streaming show. And then people watch it that weekend and then the conversation's done. With Game of Thrones, you controlled the conversation before it came out, the eight weeks that the show is on, and then maybe a week or two after where you're predicting what's gonna happen next season, what the future is. And I feel like he knew or I don't know if he knew, but like I feel like he's done a fantastic job of continuing to keep the energy with the tour, and then when the tour's over, dropping the album. Yeah, I think if Drake wasn't on tour, I don't know if that energy would, would be there. But do you think, Alex said this yesterday, he was like, I think this is by design. So it's like... What scares me, and it's not a scare, because Drake's going to be fine. Drake put out a song last Friday, and nobody cared. What was the song? The to Drake and Scissor record. No, oh. people, that just dropped, and people do like it. It came out last Friday, and, and it came out last Friday, and people just started talking about the lyrics yesterday, because I saw people, you know, uh, posting about how he said something about whips, whips and chains, you get whipped and chains like an oh, African yeah. slave or something like that, and I remember, I, I'm in the group chat, and I'm like, I'm, I'm like, damn, Drake put out this record Friday, and people just get into the lyrics on a Monday? I mean... That's not Drake-like... Um, He's going to be fine, regardless. I just think that, you know, it's also when you think about, you look at the album cover and you hear the title for All My Dogs, I think we was looking for something a little bit more harder, a little bit more aggressive. We let's came see out what with happens. The slow let's, joint with SZA. Let's see what happens. He's bringing the old Drake back, though. Is this old Drake, Alex? You a Drake fan? I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. Because it's like, it is singing, it is rapping, so I guess it is old Drake. I didn't hear no rapping on it, unless I didn't get through the whole song. I know Holly Berry is not pleased in any way, shape, but or form. But that's even genius. Like, I, he could ask her, but then that's not going to create the conversation that he wants. If he's smart, Holly Berry goes, I wish he asked me. It would have been nice if he asked me. And then that's the news story. That's on TMZ. That's on other, all these other places. If Holly Berry goes, oh, he asked my permission, I think it would be really cool. Not a news story. So it's just constant news being generated and constant conversation between what's happening at the live shows and the, are we gonna get the drop? He's controlled the narrative for months and just more and more people are aware that an album is gonna come out. Yeah. So I, let's see what happens when the album does finally drop. But his ability to hold that attention around the album and use the attention of the tour to promote the album, I thought it was well, well, the well thing, executed. The thing I always give Drake a lot of credit for is that Drake does keep it about the music. Like, you know, even though Drake has moved on to do some other things, like, you know, executive produce Top Boy, executive produce Euphoria, you know, he's got other things that he's in, his main focus for the last decade or better has just always been music. Yeah. He's not running to be in movies, you know, he's not running to do his own TV show. It's always about the music. So he really don't give you anything else. 
You know, this is the mo- this is the first year we've seen Drake do like three, four interviews, right? Like I've never seen Drake have this many interviews in a year. You know, so yeah. when he does that, people pay attention to the interviews for the mo- for the most part. But other than that, he just gives you music. You know, but I just, you know, what Drake doing is dope. But I'm telling you, man, the way Doja Cat manipulates social media is unreal. She's good at it, man. She's She's really good. And and she's talented as well. Like there's some people that can manipulate social, but they can't create the art. They don't have the music. She can create the art. And and it's it's even with everybody's like, I don't know why everybody's focused so much on her when it comes to, oh, you know, uh, she's she's worshiping the devil. Mm. Uh, She's focusing on the devil. I don't know why. It's happening to her so much when we've seen so many artists from so many genres of music do it. Like I even, think it's she, the most not, famous people yeah. because it's a news story when the famous people do it. When an unknown person does it, it's not a news story. It doesn't get clicks. But when Sam Smith is like invoking the devil, invoking or evoking? Invoking? Invoking. Poking. Invoking. In poking. In poking is, in is more of a sexual preference. But yeah. hmm. but it, when he's invoking the devil, I think it's like, oh, wow, this is a huge music artist. We can get some clicks off of this. When Doja's doing it, huge music artist. We can get some clicks off of this. Yeah. When all those like rock musicians throughout history did it, yeah. I think they did it on purpose. Like Little Nas X, when he did that. Of course. It's clear about. Doja's doing it on purpose. The song is called Demon. No, but yeah. I'm saying, yeah. And she dressed up like Nightcrawler. That's, I, when I saw it, I saw Nightcrawler. But Nightcrawler is a demon. Uh, Look it up. M- let me make sure about so, this. I'm pretty sure Nightcrawler so, from X-Men is a demon. Oh, that's interesting. Nightcrawler yeah. from X-Men. I'm pretty sure. Nightcrawler, t- type in Nightcrawler uh, demon. And even when she did the picture where she got all the blood on her covered in blood, I'm like, that's that's. I saw DMX do that with flesh in my flesh, blood in my blood. Oh, yeah. He's ultimately both a mutant and the son of a demon. And the son of a demon. That's what I'm saying. So it's like when I saw her do that, two things that she invoked that everybody said was devilish. I'm like, she did Nightcrawler, and then she did Scarlet Witch when she had the red hood on and everything else. I'm like, oh, she's an X-Men fan. She, she knows what she's doing. She knows what she knows she what knows she's what doing. doing. Even when she um, cut off her eyebrows. Yeah, like that's just great internet fodder. Like people are going to meme it. They're going to talk about it. She's crazy. She's insane. And you know what she does every time she does something like that? She puts out a record. Yeah. She puts out a fucking record. Also, it's really cool to see an objectively beautiful person make themselves uglier. Most people try to make themselves look as pretty as they possibly can, especially women because they're judged so harshly on their beauty. So when you see someone who's objectively beautiful, uglify themselves, yeah. take away their, their eyebrows, post that picture. Did you see the picture that she posted where like she had like acne or something yeah. like that? And it's like, at first people go, oh, look how weird she looks. But then the secondary reaction is, oh, that's kind of liberating that she doesn't give a fuck how people feel about her beauty. Because she can get back pretty anytime she wants. Whenever she wants. You'll get your eyebrows drawn back in, you throw a wig on. Like, she can do that anytime she wants, man. Yeah. Salute to Doja Cat. Uh, I fuck with Doja Cat heavy. Yeah. Salute to her manager, G. Uh, You know, I'm I'm a, I like Doja. I like Doja a lot. Uh, Diddy, have you heard? Now, that's another album you need to get into. That's a good album. Man. Killed it. That's a good album. It's really good. Oh, that's dope. I want to listen to some Diddy. Man, yo. I, you know, (laughs) he said he made an album to fuck to. I don't know if it's an album to fuck to. But? What about but? It's an album, (laughs) definitely, that it's it's a frequency. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you put it on, you feel something. I was listening, the first time I listened to it, I'm downstairs in the living room and I'm like, I need to be in bed with my wife. I need to be upstairs listening to her. I mean, li- being with her, listening to this album. Isn't that what they would always say about Diddy? Like his, one of his skills was the ability to recognize a hit. Yes. You know, like he just has like an ear, yeah. which not everybody has. Like, we all think we have it when we hear a great song. We go, oh, this song's great. But there are people that can hear 10 and be like, nine of these are ass, but that one right there, go for it. Well, he was on, when he was on Breakfast Club, he said something that everybody always knew, but I just never heard him say it. He doesn't play any instruments. Right. He doesn't even produce. He doesn't, he doesn't do any of that. He yeah. goes and he tells you what he wants, how he wants it, yeah. where he wants it. Hey. You know what I'm saying? It's who hey. he wants it with. Hey. You know what I mean? Hey. And who does he want it with, Cheryl, man? Who? who Apparently, Carisha. Shout out to Carisha, man. You know what I'm saying? What was that you just. Oh, that was. The- <laughs> you want to see it? Let me see. Let me see. Let me hear this one. Let's listen to what Diddy had to say about his new album. 
Said he's making music for the stroke. <laughs> I love the whole album. It's a whole body of work. You know what I'm saying? I purposely was on there where you could you could get your stroke onto it. This is for the strokers. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot of cats they be they 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 like the rabbit style. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? This 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 is for the strokers. You know what I'm saying? Cats mm -hmm. that like to really make love to your woman. Your woman like mm -hmm. to make love to you. Look mm -hmm. deep in her eyes and it's the stroke. How long should a stroke oh, last? Stroke. The, it, should be, you should you count it by the seconds or you just? Nah, nah. It's more of a rhythm thing. You know what I'm saying? It's more of a feeling though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But it's just not like ah. Let me just. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could you could yes. throw that in there <laughs> as, as like a song tempo change. Please don't but it's like, it's you know, like it's not like it's not like ah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could do that like like. But if that's your only go to, you know what I'm saying? That, that's not good in there. Don't love that we talking about. This is that R and B. This yeah, is that. This is that. Why it's that time. soul, take your time, mm -hmm. beg your girl to mm -hmm. come back. Mm -hmm. You know how you lay it down. I, I got three records that have stay in it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because mm -hmm. because that's my life. I'm always like, oh man, baby, can you just stay? Don't leave me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Stay. Yes. And so it's just like the way you make love when you're trying to get your girl to stay mm -hmm. is different. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now, it's like. Now I'm going to tell you why you know, this is so interesting after hearing him say this. Now play the Young Miami clip. Because it's one thing when, a, when somebody's just talking, you know what I mean? But when, when, a, when a person actually co-signs what you just said, this is cocky, bro. So how many rounds you be going? You know. The people don't. You, you know. That. I know, but the people don't. Okay, so, so I'm asking for people. What's the answer? What's the answer? <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the y'all. This nigga don't go to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, God, <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all stuff. For real, for real, for real. I really thought, thought that I was gonna like make him tap out. out. Like, I really thought he was gonna be being out no chest. This nigga don't go to sleep. <laughs> like, I be like, Mind you, Diddy. Diddy is the tender age of 53. Nah, that's crazy. That's Still crazy. throwing the kind of dick that got women like. That's crazy. You know. That's crazy. He don't go to sleep. Well, you sure one. You know what I'm that's saying? That's crazy. That's crazy. Now he got to be on a performance enhancing drugs. Bro. Nah, that's just that old man scrimp. Old man scrimp don't just apply to when you fight. He's you're also fighting. a Scorpio, that's though. That's, that's different. different. You said what? He's also a Scorpio. That don't mean. I'm a Scorpio. I ain't that... fucking all that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Scorpio is not one sting and then you're done. But 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 Diddy is also at the that you know they say when men get to that age that's like the prime. You know what I'm saying? Like that no, prime. They, they be saying that shit. Yeah, they do. No, no. Or Our they just so are super early. Yeah. No, that's not true. No, no, that's not true. 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 Prime in terms of what? Sexual, sexual prime dead? you talking about? Se in a, no, I'm gonna look a it lot up. of women Libido? like to have sex with grown men. Yeah, of course. Yeah, but no girl, like what you said. No man 50 years old is doing two rounds. Back to back is not happening 50 years old without performance hands and drugs. There's no way we're going back to back at 50. Maybe he's thinking like green juice and stuff like that. I mean, it's possible. Oh, I'm lying. Yeah. Yeah, they said that ain't true. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> they say it's the 20s. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 20s, we going back to back. They say, they out. say, they say you fall off after. The, I don't know, that's though, man. True. I don't feel that Charlie way. Man, I feel come like on, I know man, more. Dog. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I know more. Yeah, you know more, but at the same time, it's like, what are we doing this forever for? What the fuck? <laughs> well, that's the thing. No, no, that's the point. No, that, that, you that, come, no, 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 no. I right. come, we done. <laughs> We watching suits. Nah, nah. <laughs> you like come, I come. We yeah. watching suits. I like it. You come, you come, you come, you come, you come, you come, okay. you come, you come. I come sleep. Cat. Yeah, that's. Cat. <laughs> you ain't trying to make come cat. ten times. Ten times, your wife. Yeah, man. Nah. I'm not saying I'm not saying I do that all the time, but yeah, you. That's what you should shoot for. Oh, listen. If they want to come more than once, that's great. That's awesome. But don't tell me, because once you tell me you came. <laughs> This is coming to an end. <laughs> yeah. oh this is coming to an end. You better hide that nut. Hide that yeah. nut. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And I'm coming to an end. That's yeah. it. We coming to an end. This is coming to an end. You come, I come. We done. Suits. Yeah. All right. What else we got, Taylor? You want to do some Oscar idiots? Let's do some Oscar idiot, Taylor. Let's do some Oscar idiot, Wait, Smile. No, we, Wait, what do we forget? The aliens. Oh, shit. I mean, shit. that's right. Not the aliens. Yeah, the aliens and the scientists. Listen, man. I, here's the thing. Well, that's, that, that, that don't even matter. It's a NASA scientists are predicting that on September 28th, 2182, Earth will be hit by an asteroid with the force of 22 atomic bombs, and now they're trying to do everything to stop it from happening. I feel 
about that asteroid the way people feel about climate change right now. <laughs> that shit is not going to affect me 159 years oh, from now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And by then, we'll like, find a way to move an asteroid. Yeah. We're not going to be here. But somebody will. Some form will be here. I'm thinking it's going to be like a humanoid, robot, human Yeah, they'll figure it out, mix. bro. Like, I'm not tripping about 150 years. Nah. I'm all, I ain't tripping about it. The Earth might not even be here 159 years from Who now. Who knows? But, yo, these NASA scientists have been saying this shit for fucking ever. It's always going to be an asteroid hits us. It's always going to be an asteroid. It's going to bang into Earth. Oh, yeah. Cap. Yeah. Cap. It uh, ain't happening. The Mexican uh, Congress, somebody presented... Yeah, but this guy was is a fugazi. He was he had brought some bullshit to them before, and like he had been involved in like a fake alien. I don't believe thing. that. I believe they shutting this guy down because this guy knows the truth. You think that that aliens are really Mexican? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why I believe this. Because it's pyramids in Mexico. Son. Because it's pyramids in Mexico. You ain't ever heard my joke on that. I did. Yeah, I did. Of, course, that. of course, of course, yeah. of course. But I believe that there's period. I believe this because there's pyramids in Mexico. Yeah, this but is be honest, bro. And this, this, this is the joke, but it also makes sense here. Mm -hmm. We know that Mexicans built the pyramids in Mexico. There's no question about that, right? Yes. <laughs> the reason why we think aliens built the pyramids is because they try and tell us Jews built the pyramids in Egypt. They did. Exactly. <laughs> no, I'm saying I never heard that. that yeah, that. Jewish slaves is what they say. Oh. But once that happened, people were like, well, there must have been some help from you know the sky. But do you think Mexicans need help from the sky to build anything, Charlemagne? Pyramids, yes. Mexicans ain't that good. They're great at building a lot of things, but those pyramids, they definitely need help from the sky. Now, would that help their cousins? Maybe. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, so you think Mexicans are aliens? Maybe. Maybe we all are. No, no, no. Maybe. Asians, yeah. Maybe we all are. Maybe we've all been dropped from different planets. I think, I think Asians are more alien than the rest of okay, us. Okay, check this theory out. I think Asians were the aliens' favorite. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt that. Because think about it. Everybody else kind of looks similar. Like, Indians kind of look like black people and white people. And That's Indians are right next to China. And then... You cross the street and all of a sudden people start looking very different I, I totally and get speaking it. very different. I totally get it. So I think that the aliens' favorite humans were the Asians. That's just my personal I, belief. I, I don't, listen, I, I'm I think not, they tried I, us all. I, I don't dispute that. They tried us all, but they're like, you know, we really like those guys over there. I, I, I had an interesting theory just because I saw somebody say this about uh, how the aliens are just coming back to get their planet before we ruin it. Mm. Like almost like Earth is on a lease. Mm. So what if all of these different versions of humans are actually different creations from different species of aliens and they sprinkled a little here, sprinkled a little there, sprinkled a little here just to see what was going to go well. And then the Asians, they liked the best, so they gave them language. <laughs> what? What you gonna do now? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, their language sounds the most like it's from an alien spaceship. Oh, I get what you say. <laughs> right? Like, like if you listen to a satellite and you could hear like... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, what? Like people at NASA listening like... <laughs> like you hear people speak English, German, like you hear... You know what I mean? Like you hear people speak Spanish, you hear people... Like, tell me I listen to this. Yeah. See if you yeah. can recognize anything. Right? Like... But, <laughs> Like, if you heard a recording yeah. from space and it was Mandarin, you would be like, they coming. <laughs> they coming, right? <laughs> they coming, right? All right, guys, we take a break for a second because, listen, it's fall. It's back-breaking season. Blue Chew is coming, and so are you, okay? Same active ingredients as inside Viagra Cialis, but this is the boner maker, okay? This is the stiffy. This is the backcracker. This is the only thing that will satisfy Taylor. This is Blue Chew, okay? And you're gonna get it for free. All you gotta do is pay $5 shipping. You're gonna get it first month for free. Go out there, give the girl of your dreams the night of her life. All you gotta do is go to bluechew.com slash idiots. Use the promo code idiots and you get that first month free. Just pay that $5 shipping. Now let's get back to the show. Salute to uh, ASAP Rocky and Rihanna, man. God bless. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm looking at this picture of them as a family. Ain't that fly? Oh, that's beautiful. ASAP Rocky, Rihanna, and they two kids. Rocky is living the life. Living Rocky the life, is bro. living the motherfucking life. You hear me? Living the life. Okay. Hey, hey, you're perfect example. Perfect, a goddamn example. Go, go. Speak go, on. I know what you're about to say. Go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Perfect what, example. What am I about to say? Because I think you know A person about who's extremely richer than their man 
extremely. He still, that's two different. You can't. Why is that two oh, different things? Why is that two different things? Make more. I thought, shouldn't she want a billion? By y'all logic, shouldn't she want a billionaire? Mm-hmm. She had one. Clearly, I didn't do something. Who was her billionaire? Her. She was like with someone like overseas. Y'all just making up stuff. No, bro. for real. I am not lying. Well, you well, well guess what? Yeah. Guess what? That's, you're proving our point even more. She had that. But he's still a celebrity. He's not no, no regular degular guy. Whoa. Now, what's wrong with regular degular? I'm just saying, though. Like, he's still. Look at the percentage of how much less he's making. So I didn't. I never looked at that. <laughs> I'm just saying. Like, imagine that's like you being with somebody who made like but ten thousand like a year. Can't, but he has Rihanna, enough. Mon- he has enough money to here's, satisfy here's her thing, still. Though here's the thing, Rihanna wants to love. And she got it. Yeah, love and money, greed. No, she don't want no money. She got her own but money. I'm saying That's he has whole, his own money. If, if you but she don't need his money. She really exactly. has money for him. Right. Loves You're him right. for him. But I'm saying he has enough money too to satisfy it too to buy she her stuff. She's not thinking about the money. She got. She got. She's a billionaire. There ain't too many people more That's rich than Rihanna you're, music. You're too focused on the money. You're That's too right. focused not. on choke on. You're too, you're too <laughs> focused <laughs> on so many different yeah. things. That's right. That's right. All right. That's right. She's absolutely right, man. You always, when you say that's right, you sound like you're in the church. You don't know never be. That's your problem. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I don't need to be in church to praise God. You don't know never be. You don't. You don't know never be. You have no idea who never be is. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm not going to even ask either. You wash your hands? <laughs> I'm not going to You wash your hands? <laughs> Boy. Did you wash your hands, Taylor? <sighs> yes. yes. You, 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 you just, you just, you just, you just never be. Oh, you just going, you just don't get it. You when, when you find never be. I'm not gonna. Better. I'm not gonna ask what it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> All right, listen. Dr. Kyle says that would be great if you got caught with that one. What? Yo, oh, that would be knock great. I was going to wham. Yeah, that, <laughs> yeah. that would have been great. <laughs> Yo, that would have been great. Dr. Kyle, if aliens were weaker and less intelligent than humans, would you be disappointed? Hell yeah. Fuck you, find us. Yeah, if, if they were weaker and less intelligent, they wouldn't make it here. But, but think about that. If they were weaker and less intelligent than us, then they shouldn't even be able to get here. Exactly. So it's like they got here by being weaker and less intelligent. Nah, something's off. We must have known who they were. Yeah. Like, nah, nah, nah. If they nah. if they got here and we think that they're weaker and less intelligent, then what does that make us? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yo, low key, the second we see an alien that's alive, we gotta kill him. Because <laughs> What has happened throughout history when people find uncharted territories? Oh, uh, good point. It, no, there ain't no people. Y'all <laughs> did it too. Not really. No, what do you mean it, not really? Y'all did it the best. Mansa Musa became the richest person in the human history. You think he did that by handshakes? Yes. Yeah, he, he owned all the gold. Yeah. Oh, I wonder how he did that. They just gave it to him. Politely? It was on his land. It's in his resources. It was on his property. It's oil. Beverly Hill, Billy, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you really ain't shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, so he's the only fair king in history. He's the only benevolent king in history. I mean, he probably killed some people. Nah, he was like, getting busy, bro. It's like Obama with the drones. Yeah, you know I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. You gotta, you know you gotta do what you gotta do when you king. Sometimes, baby. There we go. Uh, yeah. Alex Boss 34 says, how do you feel about differentiate tightening your circle versus cutting Man, people you off? added six more letters to that word. <laughs> it didn't even need to be there. That was one of the more crazy things I ever seen. You know what I mean? How did you feel... About differentiate type music. <laughs> What's that word, man? What am I fucking up? How do we feel about that, though? I think it's the same thing, isn't it? How do we feel about differing? Wait. <laughs> How do we feel about differentiating? Yeah. Did you tighten your, tighten your circle? You don't even really need that big ass word yeah. in word there. Word is Alex All you gotta boss. do is say, "How do you feel about tightening your circle versus cutting people off?" You just wanted me to say that shit, Alex. <laughs> you was like, "Charlemagne gonna go for this one." Mm-hmm. If it's one thing Charlemagne gonna do, it's gonna go for some big words with a bunch of syllables for no goddamn mm-hmm. reason. How did you feel about tightening your circle versus cutting people off? I think it's the same thing. Yeah, I, it's weird. It's like you don't actually cut people off. It just it, when you're being pulled in many different directions, you have to limit the amount of people that can pull. That's right. So you never really tighten your circle from the people who are like providing things or or trying to give things or providing value. That never happens. You just tighten from the people who are trying to extract. And they might not be wrong to try to extract. They want to work with you. They want to do business. They want to do something. But you can only give so much of your time out. And when the only thing that they come to you for is 
when they need something, it's very yeah. easy to kind of limit it, in my opinion. And I think that shit, like, a lot of times in life when you're on the come up and you're successful, you're, like, spiraling up. But you're literally spiraling yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everybody just can't hold on. Some people fall off, you know? And the people that fall off, it just is what it is. You know, like, hey, you, you weren't meant to be along for the ride. Right. You know, I told you, buckle your seatbelt. I told you, do everything that you said you're supposed to do in order to not fall off this fucking ride. Mm -hmm. And you said, fuck it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you fell off the ride. So uh, God bless. Yo, Burr Perry Barry has an interesting question. <laughs> Why is See the Guy so thick? You know what's so crazy? That's probably Taylor it's with a burner not. account. It's not. Because she's, she's too prideful. Nice. To just straight up ask me, yo, what are you doing? Because <laughs> y'all been pastor. Been. Been fucking pastor. It is true. Listen, man, Burberry, Barry, I'm going to tell you it something, man. True. God, baby. God did. This is God. God did. God's God, hips. God's hips. <laughs> God's hips. It is real. what it is, man. I'm glad you noticed, though, Burberry, Perry. Yeah. You know thank what I'm you. saying? I wish I had a, I wish I had some words for you. This is just good old fashioned Monk's Corner, South Carolina, grits, you know. Cornbread. Cornbread fed. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? You see me out here. What is that? Saltwater taffy? Isn't that what huh? you guys have in Charleston or something like that? They got uh, Charleston shoes. I don't eat that shit, though. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you for noticing, Burberry, Perry. Go down, Taylor. Pause. God hey, damn. Yo. Hey, yo. Shit. Name, okay. Can you trust that's a woman that doesn't shit. get along no, with her mom? that's funny, though. What, what? Kindle with comedy. Who says, name five books behind y'all without looking. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. I got it. Black Privilege, Shallow Waters. Uh, uh, shook Ones. Shook Ones. Um, Great Gatsby. Did we throw Gatsby in that bitch? Yeah, the great Gatsby's back there. You can't then. look. <laughs> no, great Gatsby's back there and um uh the Chronicle of the East. <laughs> I wanna give it to you. I want I wanna give it to you so bad. I wanna give it to you so bad. I wanna give it to you so bad. Cause, cause you get way better. I know you get better. You get way better. <laughs> You can't wait better, bro. Dude, I got absolutely obliterated the other day. When? One of the interns that worked for us is, you know, you know, Shifty is? Yeah, he don't fuck with Alex. Yeah. Yeah. But no, no, they, they, they're cool they with each they, other. Bro, I don't know. Someone put I don't on know. Taylor thing. told me that. I'm just repeating gossip. Someone put on a thing <laughs> like, how come Alex and Shifty don't get along? Well, because this something? new, the, the new, uh, what's it called, editor or whatever, this guy, Philip, is like, kind of causing a little bit of strife in between the editors because he's kind of nicer than both of them. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's news to me. That yeah. means somebody better renegotiate a payment plan. Yeah, so <laughs> shout out to Philip. Yo, you killing it. Keep oh, up the great shit, work. Oh, shit, Big Phil. Keep, keep up the great work, Uncle Phil. Phil. Uncle Phil. You Jaffy Jeff. That's what they're going to call y'all. Alex, they, you Jaffy Jeff. I told him, Which I one like, of y'all going to be Jaffy Jeff to Uncle Phil? Yeah. You got to call him Uncle Phil. I said, y'all got to call him Uncle Phil. Yeah. Uncle Phil is nice. Holy shit. You met him, Taylor. He was here. No, no, this is not joke. <laughs> you met him. I don't know. Mm. <laughs> Think Fresh Podcast says, what would your... That's fucked up. Is you going to act like you don't... Uh, I don't remember yeah. him. Cut, it out. Cut, no, it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Don't just because he's here and like he's he said he met you. He was nice and everything like that. Okay, but that doesn't mean I remember it's fine, right it's away. It's fine. It's fine. Damn. Damn. Stop. I, I told you about that. You don't remember? <laughs> you guys yeah, literally yeah. shook hands and he had a joke. Telling people, tell people they're not memorable is fucked up, Taylor. Remember him? That's crazy. You guys literally met here. You guys shook hands. I shake a lot of hands. Damn. All right. Whatever. Damn. Damn. I don't remember Philip. I'm not doing this with y'all. It's not even, it's not literally. Yo, sorry, Philip. Everything is cool. Y'all are cool. Okay? Too bad you Taylor can't Phillip. fill up the Yeah. Oh, uh, Think Fresh Podcast says, what would your death row meal be? And why would it be a foot long? Hey. <laughs> hey. Oh, my Okay, God. the death row meal. God, Lee, you no. gotta go. That dessert gotta be crazy. I would never be on death row. What's the point? Huh? What would be like? Seriously, don't you think that's like some wild, wicked shit? Like, why do you want a last meal before you die? 
Uh, I mean, I don't know. Give him something. You're just prolonging it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wonder if it has some sort of benefit for the electric chair. Like, if you don't have food in your system, it takes longer or something. Like, I think they should. I mean, I know it's prison, but they, if they're going to allow you a last meal, just allow me the last thing I want. Which is? I don't know. But, like, you know what I mean? That's what you should allow people, depending on the crime, though. It's going to be to get out. <laughs> depending yeah. on the crime. No, no, no. Well, you can't get out. Well, that's anything but that. You know what I mean? But, like, something else. Like, because clearly... Your last meal brings you joy. So if you're already doing something that's bringing this person joy, let them pick what they want. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Might be some head, you know? Yeah, would you get head? Would you fuck? Um, Stop. Sorry. What would you do? What would you do? Mm. I don't know either, because I'm not going to be on death row, so fuck yeah. that shit. The yeah. fuck would I be on death row? Also, you're going to be so nervous. You're about to die. You think you'll be able to Lord get your dick hard? You're not going to have any that, appetite. That's what I really would want. I'd be trying to get my soul all the way right. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck I did to get in there, but I would really, really, really be trying to get my soul right if this yeah. is really it. Let's do one more tale of gang. All right, this one. Get a good one. Which one? Chatty3181 says, would you rather be a billionaire in a wheelchair? Legs don't work. Are poor, tall, in pro athlete shape, and you can never make any money at all. But he ain't say that. So, oh well, if you're poor, tall, in athlete shape, you can go make money as an athlete. It's, it, this is an unfair hypothetical. Yeah, I'm gonna find something to do. I'm not choosing billionaire status over being in a wheelchair where my yeah. legs don't work. Oh, Salute to everybody so. out there who's in a wheelchair whose legs don't work. You know, but they probably make yeah. the same choice. Yeah, you could probably build some shit where you could. Make you walk again. Ooh. Think so? Do like uh, some sort of, what's it called, suit? Uh, Prosthetic type of. Yeah. The reason we know that's not true is because there's billionaires on this planet who've been handicapped. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he's a billionaire, but the governor of Texas, Wheels, he's he's in a wheelchair. Yeah, and he's not a billionaire. But he's not, but he don't got the B. Yeah. But I'm sure he got enough money and resources to get whatever that would be. You know it's crazy I mean? we don't have those legs already built. Like, it's crazy to me. I feel like we've done so many things, and that's, like, the easiest situation. You would to, think that shit that War Machine got in uh is, is already done. Marvel Cinematic Universe would be real. Yeah. It's, it's about money. Is it going to make that much money? I don't mm. know. I want my legs. That's true. I yeah, want my yeah, legs. Yeah, I want yeah, my yeah. limbs. If it was profitable, healthy. they would yeah. do it. Yeah, I've been poor before. I ain't never been handicapped. I don't want to be. I can, de- I, can, I, can, I can deal with being poor. Mm. We'll figure something out. But when you're in that wheelchair and, you know, so. There's nowhere to go. Like you don't know what to do. You know you don't know how you you don't know if you you'll never get recovery back in your legs. I guess you're hoping for some type of miracle, but nah. He saw tall and made up his mind already. Yeah, he wanted that. <laughs> that, was, that nah, was I don't care about being. Tall. I didn't even see the tall part. I just saw the healthy yeah. healthy leg. Part. Yeah, you want to have healthy healthy legs. Yeah, you want to be healthy, man. That's like, it, Taylor. I like this one better. Okay, one more. Alex A. Grin says, which one between Andrew and Charlemagne would last longest Me. in the zombie apocalypse? Me. Easy. <laughs> Why? Because zombies like that dark meat. <laughs> Try it. It just depends. It's really going fast. <laughs> I mean, yo, zombies eat ass, bro. <laughs> they eat anything. They eat and anything. dick. They eat anything. Zombies <laughs> eat dicks and ass. Yeah, they eat anything. Like, that's their thing. No, it's not their thing. <laughs> they eat anything. They do like that. They like brains, too. That's where brains came from. Remember when everybody was using the slang brains yep, for yep, head? Yep. It came from zombies eating dick. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably Straight where it came up. from. They're really <laughs> eating dick. We say brains because we don't want it to sound all like sexual and shit like that. Zombies go for the dick first, bro. That's facts, yeah. You didn't know that? What does this have to do with y'all surviving an apocalypse? Who's going to survive the apocalypse? Well, well, who's got, got a, a more taste for dick? Durable dick, yeah. <laughs> so whose dick is more durable? Who, whose dick can handle a, a zombie bite? You know what I mean? Like, if your dick is hard enough to handle a zombie bite, then you're going to be Blue okay. Blue Chew! Yo, shout out Blue Chew. Blue Chew. So, In a so, zombie apocalypse, there's going to be a liability. So who got that Busta Rhymes mic right Yo, there? real <laughs> damn, damn, Going back damn. to his mouth with that mic was crazy. <laughs> As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast, you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.